the third Sunday after Pentecost, year C, from the second book of Kings. As the Lord lives, and as you yourself live, I will not leave you. In the name of the living God, even the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Our readings for this week are filled with instances where the rules just don't seem to fit. Stay here, Elijah repeatedly tells his disciple, only to have Elisha faithfully refuse to obey. Honor your father and your mother, so that your days may be long in the land that the Lord your God is giving you, says the law. While Jesus says, foxes have holes and birds of the air have nests, but the Son of Man has nowhere to lay his head. These are good readings for raising questions about how we take teachings with us, even when we don't know exactly where we're going. Elisha is vowing to take the ways of the Lord and the ways of Elijah himself as the model for living his own life. As the Lord is faithful, pursuing us wherever we go, and as Elijah has faithfully gone, though not without some whining, wherever he's been driven by the Spirit, so also will Elisha go forth, not remaining where it's safe, but following Elijah even to the edge of the whirlwind. Jesus rebukes some would-be followers who want to set all sorts of conditions on their discipleship. After I do this, if you are or are not going there. The problem isn't so much the particulars as it is the insistence on maintaining the particulars so as to keep the decisions to be made within a set of known circumstances. That insistence is the yoke of slavery about which Paul writes to the Galatians. The law helps to point out to us particular ways of distinguishing the works of the flesh from the works of the spirit. Once we've learned its lesson, the works of the flesh should be obvious to us, even outside of those particulars. Life as a faithful disciple means applying the truth of Scripture to those ever-changing circumstances as we encounter them. It's for such freedom that Christ has set us free. Discipleship calls us to grope our way forward, backward, wherever God leads us. When we meditate on all God's acts and ponder God's mighty deeds, God leads us into a way that is holy. For who is so great a God as our God? This groping forward through the unknown, even following the path of death itself, is the cross our Savior Jesus Christ has taken up for us. Let us take it up as well. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen.